What's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about whether or not it is a good idea to buy a home gym if you have the money, or whether you should just go join a gym and spend the monthly payment every month to actually go and work out like in a facility. Um, obviously this video is for people who are like fairly new to working out and maybe haven't joined a gym yet, are considering buying a home gym, um, because obviously like if you, you know, are already working out then you've kind of probably already chosen which one you're doing. Um, cool, and yeah, okay, so that's coming up right now, cool? Now, before we get into that, uh, if you guys like videos like this that are a little bit, I guess this is a pretty normal video, but most of my other videos are fairly like kind of thinking outside the box, non-mainstream health, fitness advice, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to those thousand subscribers, currently at 800 right now. Um, channel's growing pretty fast in the past couple months, so hopefully we will get there soon. Cool. Um, also, if you want to uh, support me on Patreon, I have a new Patreon page that um, I'm trying to pimp out. I'm trying to offer some like exclusive content to people who like want to get even more information out of my beautiful brain um, and like I don't know, get maybe some personalized health and fitness coaching or advice or just like read more content that I create and stuff like that. Okay, so head over there. Maybe possibly like. Give me some of your precious um, dollars, and yeah, maybe I can you know afford a proper tripod if you do that. Cool. Okay. Now, um, also check out my digital marketing channel where I talk about digital marketing. Link in the description. All right, here we go. What was I talking about? Okay, so this question, uh, a friend of mine asked me, is I have a good friend and he wants to start working out, right? Now, this guy, very nice guy, and he like, and you know, I'm not like trying to blow him up or anything, I'm not gonna like give away a secret identity, but I'm just using him as an example because I feel like there's a lot of people who might be able to relate to this, especially if you're kind of like just starting out working out and gyms, you know, for whatever reason don't appeal to you, okay? Now, this friend asked me, he's like, can I, you know, I wanna buy a home gym, I wanna buy a weight set, what can I do, you know, which one should I buy, give me some advice, blah, 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 whatever. Like, can I, can I basically like buy a weight set without, you know, and get the same result as if, as if I were to go to a gym? Um, and, you know, like, when it comes to this question, uh, I don't think so, right? Like, I'm just gonna come out and say it, and here's why, okay? Um, if you are, you know, for a few reasons, reason number one, there's a lot of reasons, right? But okay, so let's go one by one. The first reason is that when you are participating in an activity, when you're doing it by yourself in your room or in your garage, um, you're not going to do it with as much enthusiasm as if you were to do it in a group setting. Okay, now this is, like, should be obvious, but I guess if you, if you don't, if you aren't in a group setting doing activities with people on a regular basis, you wouldn't know. I first noticed this, just to use myself as an example, when I started doing exercise classes. Right? When you go to the gym for a long time, essentially like just starting out with bodybuilding, it's gonna get very boring after a while. You do the same sets of exercises, the same like variations, even if there's like 100 or 150, like after a couple years, it gets very boring. Um, so at one point, I decided to start doing classes. I was like, I'm only gonna do classes, right? And I would do, you know, Zumba and yoga and like cardio kickboxing and kettlebells and like all this stuff, right? And I noticed that I would always, 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 without fail, 100% of the time, not most of the time, not maybe if I felt like it, 100% of the time I would get a good workout in those classes, like drenched in sweat, totally gassed, like muscles sore, and I, I would get a lot of you know, really good results very fast. And the reason is because, number one, you have a, a teacher pushing you and telling you what to do, um, and you're going to work harder, you're going to push past what you think is possible when somebody is telling you to as opposed to if you're just like training at home by yourself you don't have that external motivation and you could say whatever you want external motivation you shouldn't need that you should only like go on what you think on your own but like let's be real we're human beings and um somebody standing over you yelling at you telling what to do like you're gonna do more I don't, you know why are we even arguing about that uh that's number one number two when you have like and let's be real like as a man workout classes, they're mainly women. When you're a dude and you have a bunch of girls working out around you, you're gonna work out a lot harder. Cause like on the one hand, you don't wanna be weaker than the girls. Maybe this is sexist to say, but like you don't wanna be weaker than the girls. 
you want to like maybe impress the girls, even if it's just subconscious, you don't want to be seen as like the guy, like, you know, all the girls are like doing all these exercises perfectly and you're like in the corner, like dry heaving, you know, cause you can't do it. Right. So you're going to push yourself even harder. Okay. Now what does this have to do with actually just joining a gym and doing weights or doing the machines? Well, the same effect kind of takes place. Uh, but just on a on a slightly lower scale because you don't have that teacher, you know telling you what to do I guess you could say if you have a trainer, you know, the trainer technically is like instructing you But a trainer instructing you one-on-one -on -one and like counting your reps for you, which is good Don't get me wrong. That's that can be valuable as well if you're just starting out But that's much different than like loud music pumping and like a bunch of people around you like going crazy and like Working out very hard essentially trying to impress each other at least in LA, like, you know, where I was doing these classes. <sighs> okay, so that's number two. Um, now, uh, another thing is that, like, they've done studies, and, like, I'm not, you know, I talk a lot of trash about scientific studies, but that's mainly about, like, nutritional science, which is totally skewed. Uh, when it comes to, like, you know, they've done studies, and they've seen that, like, you know, cockroaches, for example, will, like, do cockroach things with more intensity when there's two cockroaches around as if it's just one, right? And, you know, even just thinking of other examples in my own life when I've had to like, I guess the only thing I can think of is working out right now, but even going like on a run, right? Like if I go for a run with another person, I'm more likely to have more energy and just feel like I can go longer um, when that other person is next to me. Even if they're in worse shape than I am, I just kind of feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more strong, or if they're in better shape than I am. Um, yeah, so like, one of the also like bad things about working out at home by yourself is that you're just, it's just boring, right? Like, why do I like to go to the gym? And I'm sure a lot of guys can relate to this as well, especially like maybe guys living in America, <coughs> maybe not as like socially lubricated as they would like to be, don't have like the proper social life, you know, like we're all supposed to have in the perfect world. Um, depending on the gym that you go to, like the gym is a total scene, right? You have like, essentially people who are trying to improve their looks all going to the same place improving their looks at the same time you know you get to like show off in like the <clears throat> the tank top you have like the cardio girls like in their like tight little pants um, and yeah maybe that makes me again like a sexist person who's like you know an asshole or something like that but if I go to a gym if let's say I'm gonna join a new gym one of the things that I look for I look for a couple things number one are there hot girls that work out there and I'm not even joking, like I'm 100% serious. If, if there's no girls or there's no hot girls that train there, at least a few, then I don't join that gym. It's not a good gym from my point of view. And like, yeah, on the one hand, I like the eye candy, but it just motivates you so much more to train hard when you have an attractive member of the opposite sex standing next to you, right? Or training next to you, you know what I mean? Um, and like, you can agree with me or disagree with you. I'm just saying what works for me. And honestly, I'd be surprised if, like it could take any guy and like put a solid 10 next to him training pretty sure that he's gonna like bang out a couple more reps um, you know to impress her even if it's subconscious and again whether you want to say that's right or wrong maybe you're married maybe you have a girlfriend I'm not saying you need to go like cheat on your wife and join the gym but like come on it's human nature to have like just because you get married or you're in a relationship doesn't mean you stop being attracted to other people right and it doesn't mean you can control that instinctive impulse that you have um, to kind of puff out your chest as a man and uh, do things that would present you in that best light to that person or that group of people okay um, another thing is that like it's a good way to meet other people who are like you know live in your area or into fitness like I, one of the reasons that I joined Equinox and not like I actually did anything about it when I when I joined but the sales girl told me it's like really good networking right and like Equinox for those of you who don't know it's like kind of like the fanciest gym chain in America. It's like, I paid I think $230 a month. They had amazing classes. It was a bunch of like, you know, for lack of a better term, I mean, not all trophy wives, but like a lot of trophy wives, women that didn't work, or like wives who like did real estate. Um, a lot of rich dudes, like who can afford a $230 a month membership? Like definitely not me. I was the brokest person in there by far but it was very good for me to just kind of like go to a place like that that's high quality, that has high quality people. And again, I'm not saying that people who don't have money aren't high quality, but like all things being equal, people who have more money, they're going to be higher quality. Again, like not trying to offend anybody by saying that, but like, you know, 
you eat better, you have just less stress in your life, you're generally more positive, like, I'm just saying, you know, at least in LA, right? Um, and it was just a nice, like, oasis for me to, to get away from my, uh, you know, Uber driving days, which is what I did back then, okay? Um, yeah, so uh, it's just good, you know, to join the gym. Like, oh yeah, it's good networking. Like, I got offered tons of jobs while I was there. Um, you know, I got offered a job at some real estate company in Beverly Hills where the guy's making a million dollars a year. I have no interest in selling real estate, like I couldn't think of anything more boring than selling real estate, but it's flattering to think that just off of like a couple conversations with somebody next to them, you know, doing abs, like somebody thinks so highly of you that they're willing to offer you a job, right? I got offered another job, some guy, he sold like unlimited cell phone plans to truckers, right? He had like this like massive business and we were just talking and I was telling him about, you know, I drove for Uber and blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, why don't you come work for me? Um, so again, like I'm not saying you should join the gym to like get a job, but if I had a business at that time, if I was saying, oh, I'm a marketing consultant or oh, I'm a, you know, have a fitness YouTube channel, like other opportunities would have come up from that. Just from, and I'm, I'm not saying like I would, you know, I'm a friendly person overall, I would say, like I'm fairly open and I say hi to people on the street. Like if I go buy a sandwich from somewhere, I'll like make small talk with the lady. And I really like going to the gym and being social there as well. Um, but normally when I go to a new gym, I don't talk to anybody for like the first month. Like I go for a month, I don't talk to anybody. I'm really like awkward and weird. And then after a month of seeing the same people over and over and like saying like, hello, like, like you're going to do any place where you go for 30 days and see the same exact people, like it's just human nature to say hello to them, right? And after a while you start talking to them, you build a friendship, you build a relationship. Um, and then you might get some friends out of it who have similar values, right? They live in your neighborhood, they like working out, um, they're fit, or at least trying to be fit, and they're generally like, you know, same socioeconomic class, like if you care about that kind of thing, right? Like if I go back to LA now, you know, I would move to like West Hollywood and join the Equinox over there because it's a total scene and I would love to just be involved with that, right? Okay, so anyway, join a gym. Don't get the weight set. You know if you get the weight set, you're just gonna like hang your clothes on it anyway um, and not use it. That shit is gonna be sparkling clean and I'm probably just gonna use it when I come over to your house and chill, okay? And I would love to, but like I'd rather just go to the gym anyway. You should come with me to the gym. Boom, there you go, fix it right there. Like let's both go to the gym, it's even better. Okay, so if you liked that video, um, yeah, if you liked it, click subscribe. If you have any questions about a home gym versus like joining the gym, uh, ask me in the comment section and go support me on Patreon. I've got some cool offers up there for people who want to get more involved in my whole like fitness video YouTube empire that I'm slowly building. Um, yeah, go over there, give me some money and um, check out my digital marketing channel as well in case you wanna learn about making money online. Come chill with me in Vietnam, go to the gym. I don't know, I guess that's it. Peace.